renounce his reform, that there won't be any reform, that he respects the fact that the vast majority of the people don't want it, and that he regrets the way it happened. It would most probably won't be that way. So uh, I think we are in a deep crisis that will linger on for weeks and maybe months. It's impossible to convince the French people of the necessity of the pension reform because it was not properly sold to the public from the start. Uh, the necessity of the reform was not understood. Uh, the rhythm, the timing was not understood. That's not the good time to do it. We may be uh, at the beginning of a new Gilet Jaune Yellow Vest movement, absolutely, because there is no democratic way out. The only thing that could uh, avoid that would be a decision by the Supreme Court, the French Supreme Court, to uh, overrule uh, the law and to, you know, reset the legislative process. It has the power to do this. This is the only hope we have to avoid a major crisis. Emmanuel Macron won't make any U-turn on his reform because it's considered a victory by his aides and he is pinning it as a victory. Uh, the main problem is not about pension reform anymore, it's about democracy. That's the elephant in the room. Are we still in a democracy? Can we still decide collectively? Or uh, uh, is this a system in which only one decides for everyone else and even against everyone else? If you want to understand this crisis, you have to consider that we are a democracy facing a huge problem because one man can decide against everything else. We don't have any checks and balances anymore and we are wondering whether Marine Le Pen could take over in 2027 with that kind of power. That's the main question we have. It's okay with Macron, he's a liberal. We don't know what's next. And if he's, the next thing is Marine Le Pen, she will have the same amount of power and that is terrifying.